Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and we don't hear a lot about those. Uh, the sale of those PCs, we're talking about those Snapdragon ARM PCs with, of course, the fact that they are Copilot plus PC compatible, which means they are powerful and can have recall and so on. Some interesting report is kind of heating up a little bit the competition between Intel and uh, Qualcomm. And the problem is we don't have that many um, details. So Intel claims that the Copilot Plus PC is running on the Snapdragon XLE and on ARM processors are being returned at a high rate compared to PCs sold with you know, X64, which means Intel or AMD chips in them. Qualcomm came back, said, nope, the return rate is not the case and that uh, we are getting some really high grades of four stars and more on our PCs. Intel came back and said, well, if you go and ask retailers, they're going to tell you people are returning those ARM PCs. And... I started thinking about that and the possibility that this is true or not. Because, you know, I mean, they're in competition, so everybody says what they want to say, and they take these numbers here and there. So Qualcomm will, of course, say no, it's not the case. Intel will want to, of course, say yes, it's the case because they want to sell Intel chips. Uh, but what is the truth exactly? Uh, this is interesting. You know what? Um, I actually had an idea that I should probably go take a walk to Best Buy and to a couple of stores that have those and ask the, the, uh, the sellers if, you know, it's true or not. What would be the reason for the return? Well, one of the things we know is that the ARM architecture is still not yet fully 100% compatible with what we do on PCs. And some actually have noted that the um, Copilot Plus PCs that are sold with Snapdragon uh, X Elite and, and Qualcomm ARM chips in them have little problems with compatibility with some hardware and with some um, software and different types of software that have uh, different ways of working, including games with their own, you know, uh, compatibility check for cheating. So if it's the case uh, that the hardware has a hard time, you know, if you've got a webcam and a printer and a scanner or different devices that don't want to install because there's some compatibility bug, uh, well, yeah, I can see that maybe somebody somewhere saying, what is this? My PC doesn't behave the way I want it and doesn't do the things I want uh, because for, and I don't know why, maybe it's broken because let's face it, the regular folks that would buy a ARM PC have no idea they're buying something which is different from the regular X64 PCs, which is Intel and uh, AMD. So this is interesting. Um, is there a higher return rate? I personally would not be surprised, actually, that there is. Because if you can't do things you do normally, of course you'll return the computer and say, well, this doesn't work. So um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it bogus? Or is there a higher return rate on ARM PCs right now? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.